Oh, we want. I first want to say we did leave some things out last week, so we yeah. want to shout out Cardi for winning. Shout out Grammys. Cardi for the Grammy. Yeah, we didn't yeah. mention that. We mm, didn't. That Cardi. was call for. Him. And, and, and we and we, we we messed up. Do we call so Cardi we or do we say Body? Uh, uh, ooh, big Body. Big Body Gang. Body Gang. Body Gang. Shout out to that man. Definitely shout out to that. It's a good album. Yeah, y'all hear that shit we turned off. Yeah. Oh my bad, y'all. <laughs> but do you think she was deserving of winning though? If you would have had to pick the album of the year, who'd you give it to? Uh, uh, I don't need to you know who the other people were. So well, I mean, it was Pusha, I'm Nipsey, and somebody you. else. Oh, I'd give it to Nipsey. Nipsey, Nipsey? was fire. Okay. Yeah, Nipsey. That was fire. Nipsey, Nipsey should have been tough. Okay, I would. I think I would. I think I would edge it off the push. I think I'd give push. Nah, N- Nipsey album was the best album. Had no hits though. Yeah. Okay. Nipsey, yeah. Nipsey had no hits though. True. He didn't have no hits. Not but hits, but it was hits in my heart, though. Like, wow. if you're from the hood, pause. pause. I said pause, but, you know. Hits from my heart? Hit for the heart. Like, okay, okay. So let me, let me, Last time that I had a check. We got two anonymous voices. I'm going to let them introduce you know, themselves so you exactly know who they are this episode. Here we go. Go ahead, guys. Uh, white boy, a.k.a. I'm not the average Avenger, a.k.a. Prediction Ascension from Harlem. You know how we do. Okay. Living our best lives. Only way to do it. Yeah. Oh, man. It's that nigga rock, you know, hot chocolate. <laughs> I just, just want to let y'all know Black is a spade. The person the, 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 the individual that said The name white boy is like, He's not Caucasian I don't No I'm not Caucasian not, that that At all I spell it W-H-Y-T-E <laughs> B-O-Y He's not actually a he's white not boy actually a white But boy. it's a long story I've been I, The name followed me For for, for years okay. And stuff okay. like that So okay. Sound like a campfire story You know what I mean <laughs> Yeah it is It is uh, Marshmallows That one time Graham, in bed All that One time in bed But you know what's I'm going to tell you something About this nigga though Right if you really, really listen to him and take the emotion out, mm-hmm. the nigga sounds like a Republican. The nigga sounds like a white man. Are you a black Republican? I am a black Republican because... Uh, Nothing wrong with that. Did you vote for Trump? I didn't vote for Trump because I don't believe in going to the polls anyway because it's like a waste of my fucking time. Okay. I already knew who they was going to pick from the get-go. Okay. Because uh, I know I wasn't going down with the Clintons either. Because I'm not reading their books and I'm no, down, down with the jail the population. Was that was a woman. <laughs> they was going to put that a man too. In. That too. Because if uh, that one, that they, one. they put up a JJ in too. office, they we all done. Do that. You know what I'm saying? Was, you know, they was like, wait a minute. We got this woman who's been in <laughs> politics since she was six. <laughs> this nigga who don't know shit about politics. Pick him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? He knew one thing though. Hit us with the taxes. Yeah, true. Yeah, he caught okay. us. Yeah, I can't What's itemize up? my boots this year, so okay. it's like it, it's killing so, me. Right well, now. So today we got today what we're gonna give y'all. This is this is the special. I don't, we're not gonna call it LD. We're gonna call it. We're gonna call the, it this, that's the, the throwback edition. A-A-R-P. We're gonna call it. It's the AARP edition. <laughs> we, we got we got our heads. We got our heads now. We're gonna teach y'all down there. I'm I'm Trente Cinco. We got our heads in here. Trente Cinco. Oh man, birthday coming up for for the for the what is it? The Lone Avenger. What's your name? Um, I'm not. The average Avenger. Not the average Avenger. I'm okay. better than Black Panther. You've been in the movie? Before? There will be no challenge today, sir. <laughs> there will be no challenge. No challenge today. I am your king. Uh, uh, Rock, you want to you you throw the age out there or not? Oh, man, I'm 46, man, but I look like I'm 27. There you go. Yeah, so, th- so that's all it matters. Th- 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 there you go. Hot chocolate, hot chocolate, hot chocolate. Okay. <laughs> so, as y'all can see, so there you go. There, now you can see the age range that we have here. So, we're going to give y'all a nice little insight. Yeah, these um, are our OGs. These are OGs. They, they, but they give us some game. That's a fact. We, we, we come together, you know, all game. week. We come together once a week, and they, they, they. School they, they bless us with our knowledge. And there's a lot of things that I ain't going to lie, I heard from these guys <laughs> 10 years ago that... Still I was like, this nigga's bugging. And now I'm like, yeah, that's regular. That's regular shit. But it sometimes is reality, though. Like, that we we just trying to put you on a reality I with know. everything that goes on. And, and I feel like, like that, that guy now, when I be telling my little brothers and cousins and stuff, so I'm like, they ain't listening to me because yeah. I know I wasn't hey. listening to me. Yo, yo. Hey, yo, hey, yo, little boys, y'all playing them down in the block. Hey, <laughs> hey. Yeah, but, listen up over you here. know the fun part about it is is that is that every man is enlightened by his own experience, correct? Right, and that you can speak into somebody else's tomorrow. You know, but then we make it fun. You know, we keep the shit light. Then you know, when niggas be challenging, you know, just sit back, shut the fuck up, and know what's gonna happen. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, so trust me, you learn. So as y'all know, every episode we start this off with the social media question of the day. Please, again, we we telling y'all. I'm tired of asking y'all. Follow the Culture Talk podcast page so y'all can follow understand what's happening here. But at the end of the day, you can follow me or follow Prince. You can be on the social media question. So, this episode, 
Social media question of the day. Press, why don't you tell them what the social media question of the day was? Social media the question of the day was. And I'm sure you guys will know why we're asking this. It's a larger topic. But uh-huh. we wanted to know, is boycotting an effective way to protest? Hell no. Uh, nope. Niggas out here bullshit. <laughs> Niggas still got Gucci fanny packs across their chest. Man, first of all, my whole thing is this, man. Go build your own business and stop worrying about the fuck somebody else doing. Uh-huh. Stop worrying about how people perceive you. We take our energies... And focus on what the fuck we doing. We not worry about nobody else. When you think about it, how much sense does it make for us to expend energy on somebody not liking you? If we get together and deal with what we... It's not about like. It's about an objective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we come together to achieve an objective. We not worry about nobody's liking. Why niggas is trying to boycott the the jump in somebody else's shit? Like these Mm -hmm. niggas talk about not going to Houston's. Build some restaurants for niggas to work in, and then mm-hmm. niggas go to some restaurants where niggas then built you to eat. Stop worrying about what people. I'm listening. I can never be a racist because I can't control anybody financially, but a bigot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember we had that conversation. Yeah, yeah, that conversation. You know, and the you thing did. is, I built my business. You know you what I mean? I built my did. own business, mm-hmm. and I had the same niggas I built the business for destroy the shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> savages. So don't tell me nothing about Houston's not liking niggas or whatever. Build your own shit. Stop arguing with people about not letting you in to their mm-hmm. shit. This shit don't make no fucking sense. Don't worry about that. Niggas worry about eight hundred dollars. So what? Because if a nigga yeah. make an eight dollar shirt, y'all ain't gonna buy it. Yeah. You know what I'm Complain like, about the price. They, they, hey all man, can shit, I get man? a discount? You know the yeah. brothers and bullshit. That, but that that be my biggest issue when we do our shit. It's like, oh my nigga, I can't I'm, get the discount. I'm niggas tired of niggas getting discounts. Like it doesn't make sense. If you are gonna build something, put your name on it as a brother. It should never be someone to compromise that. When I go in those spots and shit like that, Bloomies and all that, I'm like, my man, I need every coupon you got at your register Fuck right now. Right. Scan each one. Good. This ain't our Because I get a, you know a pair of jeans you know or whatever. Sometimes, as in our community, I will say that people look at that as a status symbol to go in those stores and be able to purchase things. So they don't necessarily want it for a discount because they want to be able to say, like... I bought this, so I paid for this. So it's like it's almost like those brands have graduated to a status symbol that it, that it became what it, it is. became you know, Negroes. So, so let me ask you, that's a good fucking point. If you get that's the, good. so let me ask you a question: If you get the high the high quality item, yes, but the high quality item is marked down, it's on sale, yeah, right? Do you Grab still it immediately. Feel that do you still feel the same accomplishment as if you like you have the item? Is yeah, it just yeah, the name? One, yeah, because people don't know that you got it on sale. What people see is a Gucci belt or right. a hat or whatever. And they like like you can't tell me that you don't see a girl walking and if she pull out a Louis purse or something, you're like, damn, like, who is she? It, it, it does say something about the person. Like, yeah, because they done beat you yeah. down so fucking bad that you'll take a brand, and the brand is it's a status more, symbol, status symbol yeah. more than you think. It's your validation that, for life. Right, exactly. Yeah. You don't need any validation yeah. but you. But they beat us down so bad and programmed us. I'll be honest with you. When you look at it, the powers that be have done their thing. Oh, they, they won. They, they, they won. You cannot hate on that. You know, they have really have done their thing, especially with us. We can't speak about nobody else because we have to deal with our uh, inherent issues. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, I'm drinking this Coors Light. Y'all need to stop <laughs> so, drinking so, beers. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 Thanos, Thanos, what do you think, man? No, not Thanos. Oh, is this, oh not your I'm, I'm, I'm just sad. I'm, I'm just I'm not going to lie to you. I'm calling you every I can't, random I can't have the gauntlet. Yeah. Only have the Mind Stone. Only the Mind Stone. Only the Mind Stone. I think you did. I think you did. So, do you think protesting is an effective way to... Uh, or you think boycotting is let's get the let's get the tables answers. answers. Nah, it's okay. never um it's never effective way for the um black community because okay. the black community is always gonna have turmoil between themselves in general. Okay. Some are able to still afford it, some couldn't afford it from the get go, so they don't mind it being boycotted from from so the get go. So if boycotting is not an effective way, what it what do you say? When these br- things happen with these brands, what are you supposed to do? Um Bill with John. the with these things happen with their yeah, brands, so with the brand, the the news and yeah. all that and stuff around the Burberry clothing and shit. Yeah. I wasn't buying that bullshit they from the get go. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I didn't really care. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So if I didn't buy it from the get go, it didn't really bother me. But I seen when Dap- Dapper Dan finally got his shot to present yeah. for his um clothing line for Gucci, then all of a sudden you shoot out this racist. I said we need to boycott because some. It doesn't make any sense now. Black man's 
actually has a prestige to move up with Gucci and be a stylist. And, and we try to boycott it. Then turn around, we, yeah. we're we told to boycott it. It didn't make any sense. I said, this is the most worst Black History Month we had in years. In a long time. And it didn't make sense. I said, a black man was given opportunity. Now I'm saying, you throw this in the mix of social media. Now we're going off what social media says. We need to boycott Gucci. Okay. If you was going to buy, continue to buy Gucci, keep buying it. Floyd Mayweather, he kept on buying it. It didn't matter to him. He some, could some, afford it. people didn't like that. It, it doesn't yeah, matter yeah. what people don't like. <laughs> so you got to remember, people call him a coon, whatever he's doing. Right. He's still 47 and all. It is what it is. Uh, 50 and all. Oh, he's 50 yeah. and all. He beat that little China kid up in Japan, right? <laughs> no, that, 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 one, that, that one don't count. That one don't count. Don't count. It went over one minute. Yeah, that, that was one. a pussy. That was a pussy. It was a pussy. He beat a pussy. Oh, he beat a pussy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, pussy. In case y'all don't know. He beat a pussy. If y'all able to hear this this rant, it's because this random voice that, that pops up randomly in the background in the room right now. I, anonymous, yeah. you want to have a name? <laughs> you you want to have a you, name? You want to have a name, Anonymous? Yeah. That yeah, just... I'm the Avengers' little cousin. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Who the fuck I am. Okay. If you hear random, if you hear yeah, random statements it. coming from the side, it. it's the Avengers' little cousin. Just the Avengers' little cousin. Um, yes. right, we'll, we'll be back Prince, during Endgame. Don't Prince, worry about, about it. You? Do you think boycotting is an effective way to uh, protest? I, I, only th- I think it's an effective way to protest if done right. The problem is I don't think we do it right. I don't think we do anything cohesively as a unit. So, yeah. But I think that if... If we took the model of like you know, like for Jewish people, for instance, they when they make a decision to do something, they really do. But it. they're not boycotting. No. Well, they not, just not live, boycotting. they just living their life. True, but but the thing is, they cohesively do. Right, it, I understand though. that. You know what I'm saying? So if we took that approach to to anything, whether it be boycotting, whether it be buying businesses, like you said, supporting businesses that we own, we could do something, but we don't. You know what I'm saying? But, okay, we not would beat down so much, like you said, right. to where yeah. I see. You would uh, with a shop, and most people would think, "Oh, I could probably do it better than him." If my, my shop would have TVs and all that, then good. they go do it. But then, but think, mm-hmm. the thing is, then I'm not supporting you because I'm thinking yeah. that I could do it better. And then when I do it, somebody gonna think they could do it better. Now we got 18 niggas with, with shops, and it's like see. instead of you say you got a shop, you know what? Let me get the shit next door. What do niggas do next door to the shop? Oh, let me buy a look. Let me buy a bar. And you know, and, and then next to the bar, right. niggas go, "Let me put something with some food." Even and next to the food, let me put a laundry. Yeah. Then it's like we done got the whole block. They own business. We own That's what I'm saying. We don't they understand don't that. time. You have this thing called cyclical time. That's when everything goes in a circle. It could be a day, a week, a month, a year. We don't understand how money flows. They keep us mm-hmm. linear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You yeah. take a say for us, you take like ten niggas, right? Mm-hmm. And and I use I use the word nigga, so fuck y'all, y'all. Negro, Negro could be used. Like, Negro, I'll be using the word nigga. You can use it. Oh, I had but a dream. You, you take a, <laughs> black nigga, white nigga, Chinese nigga, African nigga, nigga. <laughs> I had a dream that maybe one day you would just approach me with a different terminology. No, but you know what? It's like if you take a, a chair and you line people up single file behind each other. Maybe the first two or three people, fourth person, if his arms are long, can touch the chair. Yeah. But if you take these same ten people and put them around the chair, everybody's everybody able to them. see yeah. it. Yeah. And that's something that we don't see. It's not taught in different things of that nature. Good and concept. everything that we're doing is we're, ex- we're spending. Mm-hmm. We're expending energy, expending everything that goes out from us. The energy doesn't, doesn't come back. Yeah. We don't keep the energy we coming don't. back. That's, that's my you know, point. So when you get into this thing about boycott, it's like, why do you put the energy into that? Yeah. If we so, just fuck around and just support. It's social so, media. So what I want to ask the table is, okay, mm-hmm. so in terms of, now the, your definition of boycott, or everybody's at the table definition of boycott. Mm-hmm. Do you think boycotting is something when you're, are you raising awareness by not doing something? Or are you just blatantly outright just not supporting it at all? So I'm by that I mean, so, is it Burberry? Burberry comes Burberry. out, whatever, Burberry. they come out with the news joint. Yeah. So, your idea of boycotting is, let me just not purchase Burberry. Or, do you think your idea of boycotting is, let me put up post about it to say, don't go here and buy it? Like, what is your, what do y'all think is your ideal definition of boycott and I think, how, do you, how do you see it? Like, how, I think what the is your first thing is, first thing is, obviously, to not use your buying power to support said brand whatever it is okay and it, the second is to hold people accountable that you that say that they care about these things accountable for boy for doing it yeah. so if, if if i say i'm 
pro you know culture of rights and black people and everything. And then I say, you know what, we boycott Gucci and mm-hmm. Fendi or whatever and all these things. Okay, mm-hmm. that's for me. I'm not buying it. For, frankly, I wasn't buying it before that. I'm not. I don't, I don't wear Gucci belts and everything like that. It's just not my style. Right. Not saying that if Gucci makes some nice shit, I won't do it. Right. It's just saying I'm not willing to go out and buy it just because. So what will be your but then my, So of, yeah, my first thing is I'm not. I'm not purchasing it. But all I wasn't right. doing that anyway. Right. But my second thing is to hold people accountable that said they care about these things. So you know, we in the chat we have like in depth conversations about these things and everything. Mm-hmm. So if I catch one of y'all with some Gucci shit on, I'm calling you out. I'm like, so are we? Are do you, do you really care about it? Or it was those just words, you know? I'm saying so okay. to call those people out that say that they care about these things. So okay. on these mega platforms and all that, these huge artists and these huge people that say <clears throat> that want us to support them. So we, you want us to come to your concerts and buy your music and support your shit. Saying it's like Soldier Boy. I was glad he took it off. Now most of the time Soldier was a clown, but I was glad he was willing to take the shit off because he literally two weeks ago was on the radio talking about why y'all gonna go buy PlayStation and all that. But when a black man want to start a game system, y'all Facts. talking about is it legal? Mm-hmm. I said so cool. That's cool. Right. As a black man, you're right. Why, why are we willing to buy PlayStation and all this other shit, but then we're not willing to support your game system? Right. Now, yes. he was talking about, I'm still wearing Gucci. You're a hypocrite. You are a blatant but, hypocrite at not, this point. But he, he got rid of him. He did. He got rid that's of what him. I'm saying. I was proud of him for going on his platform but what he else he, saying, But who else he went to, though? Who else he went to, though? He went to Fendi. But to rebuttal <laughs> that, he <laughs> also <laughs> said, if they want me back, they got to throw me the bag. Oh, so it, so yeah, so he yeah. he so can reiterate that all he wants to. So no, so what I'm saying is, so yeah, if somebody really says, if somebody boycotts and says, "Yeah, I'm not messing with it," and then they say, "Well, in order to get me back," so let's say, Damn, that's so, not really so, let's say no, no, so let's say let's say Burberry came out with a a, a a Black History Month line of clothes as like not say an apology, but let's say they was like, "Oh, what, we apologize." What, a noose on the back or something? No, no, no. But I'm saying let, is is an apology. Or like something to do for you know the what the apology is like, a, like damage control is what yeah, you're saying. The, the damage apology? control they do for do you feel like that would make up? Let me tell you the, the, the apology. We'll take stakes in the stocks. We'll take over the warehouses. You give us all the jobs. It's no apology in that by yeah, giving no, us no. a black. Yeah. Are you going to work? Are you going to so, give so us so so free what, clothing so that, for the next year? So I think. I the, mean that. I think the main question is. I sense? mean. Any, any type of clothing. Got the, the Avengers cousin. Come on, any type of clothing. I mean, that free? doesn't help giving like free clothing. That no. Doesn't help. no, it doesn't. The help. way you like uh, remedy this is by hiring black people in the executive boards. So, 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 so that's what like, I'm that's, saying. So it's sorry to cut you off. No, no, no get it's it. Avengers little cousin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the reason why things like that happen is because there's no minorities in decision making. And exactly at all. Like yeah. how? Like if it was. You don't even need a room full of minorities at all. You just need one person to say that no, they're, it's not cool. That they're a decision maker and they're in, in part of the product line, and then that comes to them. And by the time they see, it, they're like, "Whoa, what are you talking about? A noose or uh, what is it? The, the big lips over yeah. the sweater was that, that was Gucci? Yeah, that was the Gucci. All you need is one person that is a decision maker that would say hey that would be like wait what? this can this may come off as being insensitive there's no decision makers that, when that checks get cut <laughs> when it comes to black folks i've never seen it there are true. plenty of them in the executive board right now in burberry don't get it twisted I mean, like affirmative action isn't there I think yeah. it's there okay well, you're right, the you're noose right. it I'm doesn't look like a noose to me because i haven't been in the urban community this long well, I haven't been that, around for that long. So, so you can't say that you need a, a person executive board. There's no way you're an executive board. When you're getting them commas on them checks, I'm, if they're making a hundred grand, mm-hmm. they're in Hollywood, they're chilling down in um, the, the, the Rodeo um, Drive, you know that? Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills, there's no, there's no competition. There's not another black person that's smarter than me. That's sitting next to this white guy. To you exa- exa- so you, exactly. you're, you're saying like an Uncle Tom. They, like not you, even they, we saying him, like if you have someone, we calling them ruckus from Bo- Moondocks. Okay, okay. Hey, right. hey, 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 Regardless, not to cut you off, yeah, but we have to have our own regardless. Hold on, can I ask you a question though? It doesn't yeah. make no Hold sense. On. If you guys can like expound on 
Expound. Yeah, I like that's, that that's a good word. Yes, a T word. Scrappy. 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 Then we have an episode about using words. We do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I guess. I don't know. I just use this word. I don't know. I didn't know part of the English lexicon. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but what I'm saying is, damn, I lost my train of thought. For my bad, y'all. Expound on it. Be in Negro. Expound on it. Y'all crazy. But no, but who looks like, but who are us? Because black, the color or we're not a color, color right, right, right. We're okay, not a okay, the expression, the culture. That's the, the culture. Okay, the culture. There you go. Okay, the culture. The culture. Nice the culture. Nice word. Like that. Yeah. That's why you put the culture drop right, right here. The right. expression. <laughs> Don't say of being black. We're not color okay, okay, so you know what? You can't. Every black man not the same. You know what I'm saying? You want to say that you put us all in a room that we're the same. I'd have been around a lot of niggas, and I know. I said, these niggas is not me. I'm sick of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's what they always try to explain to white people. Because, you know, I be fucking with white girls. I love these white girls. So I ain't black like women, but I love some white, white chocolate. But chocolate. the thing is that I always like to, you know, say is that a lot of white girls are like, oh, black guys like us. I'm like, no, a lot of these niggas don't fuck with y'all. I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. I go nah. so far white chocolate. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, nah, but just to get no, nah, but you know though, but just to you know get back on topic. No, no seriously no, no, though. No, no, no. But the thing is, it's like why are we waiting for people to give us stuff? And that's something I always say as an entrepreneur. I've always been a spearhead. I've always not waited. Wait. That shit that we have in the black community is hedonistic approach of like. This lackadaisical thing where we got all day. Well, you want something to give to you. Ain't nobody going to give you nothing, man. You got to take this take shit. Everything. America was built on motherfucking take guns, it, yeah. bullets, yeah. killing. Taking. Taking. Take and they do that this shit to us since we... Actually, we was over here first before the Indians. Right. Mm-hmm. But they've been fucking us up forever. And it's like, when we going to to pay attention to the narrative and follow it? I'm not talking about... To, condone hurting people but just take the again that word the expression and be able to say you know what let's get our just do our own things not get our own anything just no. do our own things not worry about everybody else not what to cut you off but you you talking about I saw it boss I was not start no trouble here in this ballroom that's what you mean <laughs> so again, now, you know, now, we, I, just, I just think I it, it should have never been across or not to cut you off but it should have never been a situation of Integration, segregation should have always been there. We seen how savage likes uh, the Caucasians can be. We right. seen it. We did. They burnt down Black Wall Street. It right. was. It was. Did. It was lavished on its own. Our own meat markets. Right. Our own pharmacies. Our own bank came there. Right. So when you when you did the research on that, and when you see twelve years of slave, people say, Dwight, you know, uh, white boy, you didn't see twelve years of slave. I don't want to see that goddamn movie no more. I seen I'm a star when I was younger. I'm I, good. You know I don't need crazy? no more movies I agree like that. With, I agree with you. Yeah. So when yeah, everyone went to go see that. Black Panther, that. that's the best movie we had for us. Well, yeah, because I, I, I want to show see more us how showing showing glory in us. Yeah. And so when ass. you Fuck have glory, y'all niggas gonna try to see some niggas in space. It's facts. Because you have to you have to big up Black Panther the way he uh the way um I can't remember Ryan Ryan Coogler Coogler actually did that movie. You have to big that up. Yeah. There's no way around it. If you went to go see Twelve Years a Slave, you got to be out of your mind as a black uh, I black man or I part I of the urban community. I ain't go to Not to keep I saying mean. black man as a colorism, but saying as an urban community, yeah. you got to be out of your mind. I said, oh, you no, I ain't gonna see that. I don't care. I don't you, care you about know, the maids neither. You know what fuck me about Twelve Years a Slave? What? You ever notice? I think. Let me say this right. Cause I I seen the movie. Yeah, I think once right. or twice. I may fuck this up, but fuck it, y'all niggas again. <laughs> yeah. Niggas do it every day. Yeah. They had walked them niggas like up north a little bit to do some work, and them niggas walked themselves back down south. <laughs> Yo, but that in a microcosm is how they yep. have yes. trained you up yes. to be like yes. they yes. trained you so much that you willing to adhere to the rules Fuck even when right. they not around. Yeah, that's what that Jim Crow yeah. book was yeah. about. Like, let's go. We gonna beat this shit in them so much. That they gonna start holding each other accountable for the shit that we put. So in. let me go around the room and ask everybody. Okay. I just wanna, like, everybody. Mm-hmm. All right. So I want to ask. Keep so it in order. So, yeah. So listen. So uh, we already. So we've understand the definition of boycotting. Everybody has given their input on. Yeah. It. So if your if your solution happens when boycotting when when the uh, 
if a situation happens that you don't agree with and yeah. and you want to boycott something, mm-hmm. if your solution comes into effect when you said, oh, like you said, let's put uh, more black people on the board like your cousin Avenger has said, yeah. mm-hmm. do you then forgive the initial situation that happens or do you continue to keep your stance originally like, nah, y'all already did that. I'm not fucking with y'all. I don't care what y'all did. It's over. Yes or no? Uh, no matter what the solution is, if they, if they, if they, oh now nah, let's bring five black people on the executive board now. No, I do don't you, stand do with you, them. No, do, do you I, stay I, with it? Yes or no? No. Okay, Rock, you. Yes or no? I think, like I said before, I don't think because when you think you mean you don't know. Mm-hmm. But if you have an objective, you're not worried about what anybody else is saying. Your objective is to achieve right? the objective. It's like when you watch the movie W. When you watch white people, I have to give it to them. Them niggas play that music in that moon of movies, and they talk that shit. <laughs> that shit be giving you goosebumps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we got to keep that same it's thing. Symphony. It's, it's a symphony. It's a symphony. They play that bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do we're going to do don't, this. Don't give me the Cosby answer. <laughs> <laughs> sure, when you the down the <laughs> Yes or no, the if you boycott answer. something in the beginning, and the solution that you want Happens happens to to come into the case. Do you still boycott? You still boycott yes or no? I don't know. So it's a, it's okay, hold on. I'm telling y'all because with the question in which you guys are asking, uh huh. I'm not even. Thinking You're not about even that. thinking about the boycott. Uh, I ain't thinking about no boycott. Okay, okay. understandable. So I'm doing my own thing. Uh, Avengers cousin, you if uh. If you originally, again, you boycott 2.0. something, 2.0. solution the solution comes that you want. Do you continue to boycott or do you forgive and be like, okay, now I'm down because you've given me the solution I've asked for? So are you asking like me personally or are you asking you, like... I'm asking think, you as the defender of the galaxies, man. I mean... <laughs> Avenger brother, yes. It is eight. It's eight, actually. It's galaxies. eight galaxies? Eight. How many, you, how many stones is it? Is it, is it, my, is it six, no, we six have stones? six stones. Six stones. My what brother right here got one on the pinky. I'm not exactly. sure. Exactly. Like yeah. Flex. Any uh, video footage? Yeah, he sees that on the live. The mind stone. Um, <laughs> it's a hard answer, man. I mean, I know that's why I asked the question. That's yeah, what I'm here 100%. for. Companies change, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, oh, no, excuse me. I'm sorry to interrupt your answer, brother. But see, this is the type of shit I was talking about. What? I told y'all that niggas was different. <laughs> so, what you mean companies... No, <laughs> all right, cool. Like, one, like, similar to Prince, I don't shop in any of those stores. Mm-hmm. I was Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even if I had it, mm-hmm. it's just not my style. You got it. Though. Right. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? No, I don't got it. No, no, no. Don't say, no, you don't have it. You got everything. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I know what you meant. Like, you I'd mean. rather not shop in those places because I think it's foolish to spend... You know, four hundred dollars on a sweater. That think it's me, foolish. That's... Well, that's a different conversation. Oh, yeah, I get, I, to me, I let's think not so. get into that conversation. You know what I mean? I rather no, we get into it. I rather put no, that no, on because the, it's going to go left. I don't want to get into what what we consider foolish in terms of spending methods for for things that you like. I yeah. would like let's stick on the yeah. Let's stick on the boycott. Topic. I like, I like, I like the JJ. Oh, I like the JJ. Yeah. 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 Spend for that all yeah. time. Something like that. Because right, we could that that that's going to go. Left all yeah. the way left, but something like that is easy for me to boycott. Right. So I'm again, not, but it's something I like, so uh, I, I or yes something or no that I'm really, really, really passionate about. Uh-huh. Obviously, I'll be conflicted. Uh, and if there is a statement that speaks to me, then like, you know, we'll see. So you are saying we'll see? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, okay. Because not everything's in the back. You right, mean? It's subjective. To yeah. It, okay. it, it, we need to put like a real life uh, example. I mean, so it's, listen, you 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 work for a company. Yep. Mm-hmm. Burberry came out was like, yo, listen, we about to drop this new fire fit. It's a noose on the neck. You yeah. like, yo, this is crazy. Y'all bugging. Yeah. You was like, yo, the only yo y'all wilding. The only way I'm over this is if y'all put some black people or some uh, mm-hmm. urban people, people of color, on the board to, to fix this. They be yeah. like, all right, and I hear what you're saying. They do that. Yeah. Do you continue to boycott because you have initially felt a certain way about it, or do you be like, all right, I'm cool. Thank you. I'm glad y'all fixed this. I mean, they put people on the board. I mean that's a work in progress. So you so you down now? Essentially, yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Prince. I mean, yes no? I I think that uh, if I had a plan of action, I didn't mean to give you the. Right yeah, no, no, but yeah. like b- before. Yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do, right? Like if if you can say no, if they're doing something. I mean, not everything is like irreversible. Like I you know agree. what I mean? Like this oh, like asking. they did this shit. We can never support them ever again or whatever. This is something like that I really like. That's what I'm. That's the example. Nah, I'm nah, nah, right? nah, young Avenger. Come on, what? Screw them all together. Mm-hmm. We it shouldn't even be a part of. 
being Burberry, like but you, you right thinking of, you thinking about it like it's Burberry. No, no. Let's think Burberry, about it if it's something like Louis Fendi. Yes. Yeah. I mean, have you, you ever watched Louis Vuitton? Screw them all because even no, but let's even not, let's not. No, no, no. Hold on. Yeah. Let's not. Yeah, but let's that's not, not what I'm talking about. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, let's yeah. say, but like uh, for example, that show a uh, Killer Mike, whatever that show Killer was. Mike yeah, yeah, okay, that was. Yo, you know how hard it is. To purchase all black. all black products, but that but that's not what we're discussing right yeah, now. Wait, no, 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 that's another. Uh, that's another. What? But the simple fact <laughs> is, no, I'm saying, saying I'm like, saying. like literally. Did you watch that? Why you think? Special? Why? Why you think he's? Why what? you think Jay is making that app so you can't purchase from black businesses? Yeah, he's he. Jay is about to actually corner the everything. But how you say about? Well, so it's think, not. It's not going even on you got right billions now. of dollars. You got to still remember. Crackers still hinder this whole place. Of course. No matter what. So you got to remember, a cracker's not going to tell me, oh, we're going to move on to Fendi. Soldier nah, Boy, I don't, I don't want this. Fendi. Let's not focus on fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not. It's, it's not. It's I'm not typically because the average person fashion. can't purchase that. But, I, but let's just stick on fat. It could be Gatorade, bro. Gatorade could come out with a drink right now, and the person on Gatorade, Gatorade hydrates. No, we're not I, going with them. No, what I'm. I'm saying <laughs> it's just product. Oh, we got generally. Gatorade fan. Whatever product, whatever <laughs> product, product you, whatever product yeah, you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. drink. I mean, you whatever drink that you like, whatever mm-hmm. fashion that you like, whatever TV show you like, whatever your vice is. If something happens where they do something that you don't agree with, we don't. I don't boast about it. I, I don't put it on the gram or anything yeah, like yeah, that I nature. I just won't purchase anything. Okay, cool. Yeah. Prince. Me personally, Prince, what you doing? Uh, whatever if, something that you vice with. If like you said, the thing changes and. They do like I don't know if I if I make demands or something. Let's just say I made demands. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Like like you know, they said if I want people on the board or something like that, and they do that. I take that as progress. I take that as steps in the right direction. Mm-hmm. And uh, not everything is unforgivable. They didn't kill anybody or anything like that. So I'm right. like, okay, yes, you made the steps in the right direction. So now some black people are profiting from the fact that you made this egregious mistake. Some black people are profiting, and hopefully this. Starts a pipeline that allows this thing. So okay. no different than like the Rooney Rule in the NFL. There was no black coaches, no black nothing. Yeah. And then they made a rule saying you have to interview at least minority. But then, but there was mm-hmm. nothing, and then and there was never boycotted. It was just I like know. But what I'm saying to, is when so things are implemented, they said, "All right, we see that there is no black representation representation at this level. Right. So we have to implement a rule where you have to at least interview black people. Right. So now yeah. it's not." 50 50, it's not close to what it should right. be, but it's because progress. that rule is there, right. there are black coaches. But again, but again, so, what I'm saying is, if, uh-huh. if something happened and mm-hmm. I said the only way to make this right is now you got to start hiring black people and stuff like that, okay, and they start hiring black people, we better off than we was yesterday yeah. before we was even boycotting them because okay. they did yeah. some shit. Okay. If they never boycotted, there would still be no black people in there and we would still be rocking the shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm saying is, if they make a change, Saying, because they could also say, fuck your dollars and fuck you, we don't give a fuck. They're not going to say that. They're not going to Because you know why them dollars is too powerful. Right. Yeah. So then you can ask changes. ourselves, because I'm not going to disagree with you. Uh-huh. Although I do to a degree, but I'm not. But is it appeasement? Like, when are we going to just say... So, but, 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 uh, and, and, that, and I'm and just playing the devil's advocate. And that respect, so I'll be honest with you. That's what, yeah, that's man, all I need some money. And these niggas ain't got no money. I'm going to get money. <laughs> <laughs> and that respect, that's a fact. That's, but wait, in that respect, it does the means justify the end. Right. Because you're understood. right. They might be on some like, you know what, just to shut these niggas up. Yeah, get We're going to do some shit. Yeah. And we might be like, all right, just to shut us up, we, everybody in this room want a job. Now... I'm gonna this, because this happened, nah. everybody in this room got a job. Depends on how much hourly they paying. So, that's okay, 15. Right, they can keep that. No, no, no. You're right about that, White White. So nah, that's about that. And again, <laughs> quick, 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 again, quick yes or no answer so we can sum this up for that shit. Now, now, this has, now, this has happened, right? Right. Now, once they have come to the solution, if they repeat the same thing, because your solution has been done, do you re... Do nah, you, it's not a double. You're not a, you can't double offend me. You can, okay, yeah. you can't. You can't double. A so I'm saying, they they can't triple figure. Yeah, when they when they offer you, yeah, act up. The I I'm saying, I gave you what you wanted. I gave you what you wanted. So now, instead of a noose, I come out with like I don't call it a noose. I'd be like, oh, now it's the knot fit. So the shit just like <laughs> the short. Not, nah. like, he now says not K N O T. No, not fit. I can't. Like I said, you can't double offend me. Okay, so now you over. You like over whatever. They can't. I mean, also like doing the same mistake twice is inexcusable. Yeah, like you control. That guy's a corporation. What you mean? Tristan Thompson. Like doing you. the... Come on, tell that's me. An excuse, that's, a, that's, a, that's an excuse. That's an excuse. That's an excuse. You're going to get to that. You're going to get to that. No, no. no, no. It, it, All right, so I mean, you know, making the same mistake twice is crazy. They can't make the same mistake twice. 
checks and balances yeah, in a corporation. They can't do it the third time. What's up? They can do it the fourth and the fifth time. What is it? Is it what is it? What they say? Like uh, shame on you. No, no once. Fool me, fool me once. No, like shame James, you fool me twice. Shame, shame on me. me. Okay, so yeah, fool me three times. times. No, no, it's in Texas. In well, Texas, we got a saying. Yeah. Fool me once, shame yeah. on you. Fool me twice, shame yeah. on me. Yeah. Shame me. Okay, so you got and two what J Cole said on the bush? What J Cole say? J Cole say what? What J Cole say? Fool me three times. Yo, read some of the response. Let me just bro. Let me Fuck just the beat side, load the chopper, let it rain on you. Facts. Yeah, exactly. Avengers cut. All right, let me read it. Let me read these answers off. Some people said, uh, if we're all unified, then yes, a protest could be effective, but it never has been that way. Uh, boycotting is effective, but with celebrity dollars. I, which I get, because we want the people. I guess they're saying, we as the people, we don't, I'm purchasing up Gucci, or we don't, per, in this room, we don't purchase enough Gucci to mean, mean anything. But the, the people who are. The people we support purchased enough Gucci, mm-hmm. I guess, to make an effect. Is what okay. I think that I mean. Okay. Yeah. Yes, if enough people participate, which seems to be the overall answer, it's only effective if it actually gets done by a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, I, I fucks with the NFL. I'm still upset at Gucci. I don't fucks with Robert's stupid ass, but I fucks with R. Kelly. <laughs> Who the fuck is Somebody Robert? Said they fuck with That's R. Kelly? a girl. Oh, 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 oh. What? Anyway, um, and wait, fly. when enough people boycott <laughs> with their wallet, then yes, capital. Uh, this is a capitalist society. Bottom line, it is. It is. It is. That's the way we we was taught. Yes, so right now, put your money where your mouth is. We went socialist boot. society. What, 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 yeah, you're right about that. What yeah. the white folks they was running through the south bootlegging. Come on now, you know how it go. Ain't nothing new. Pretty much. You need to make a dollar around here. That's All how right. your voice is standard. Now your voice is standing because you have the dollars that can um back you. That's why only the the people that speak this much in politics are the billionaires. Yeah, I agree. That's just the way it works. So I, I got uh I got a, I got mad simple answers. Somebody gave me yes. Uh I got a yeah and Honestly, I got some whack ass answers. I'm not even about to read. All right, well, we, well, we're fucking. We're skipping, skipping over that. We're skipping over that. That was a good anyway, topic. Though. That was I a good topic. Y'all guys, we appreciate y'all. Uh, thanks for having us. Uh, no, that was. Nah, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. That was the first part. Oh, man. Thanks for having us. Warming up. Oh, you guys were stretched. Word, right, right. Ready to go. We just that was the stretch, bro. Oh man, a lot of radius. That's that's a fact. So again, we want everybody again. Please follow me. Follow Prince. You get in on the social media question of the day. Give your input, answer, tag, uh, follow, tag, follow, tag follow, uh, not follow, your average Avenger, me. tag the Avengers cousin, follow, follow, and follow. tag my man Hot Chocolate over here, follow, and then you know they'll give follow. you a real answer <laughs> in terms of what you have. Right. So um, let's get into the first topic of today. So what are we talking about today, Prince? Why are we starting right, this so off, bro? The first topic is we're going to start with some shit. So look, we're gonna start with we not shit. already talked about how we boycotting. I ain't boycotting shit. Stuff, I'm, I'm or chill. whether we are boycotting or not boycotting. So let's start off with Robert Kelly. Uh, no, you mean R. Kelly. Oh, oh. Uh. That, I don't, was that a Mario? Uh, <laughs> is it, is it, oh, oh, I'm dead. He said, was that a Mario? Hey, wait, wait. That was show, show him how she was showing how your shoulders going up. Oh, she said, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't know. Y- y'all can't see y'all what just happened. <laughs> but I don't know what it was. It, old, it, heads it, in the building. old heads in the building. I don't know what that was. My cousin, my cousin did a body roll right now. <laughs> I'm not advocating for any of the hey, moves that he's doing. Hold on, hold on, listen. First of all, you got to tell him what it means. It means so much. Like, um, what she do to you? When Shushan, when Shushan treats you good, it's like all, the whole Shushan. Chinese. It's a whole situation with Robert Kraft right now. Robert, you know. Oh, oh I'm, I'm just saying, like, the white man out. It's no, called talking about Robert. We we go straight to human trafficking right now. Robert. So it is human what it is. Trafficking. So when oh, you got the girls, you on the basements and Grand Street and stuff like that. I met Shushan. Shushan was really nice. She said, "You big guy, I take care of you. I take care of you." I said, "So you know, come on, Shushan, let's head on up, do what we do and stuff like that." And she just make my shoulders roll. You know <laughs> You got a happy ending? You got a happy ending? Oh, oh, that's what life. we live for. Well, we live for happy endings you. in the pursuit of happiness. We all heard Kate. Happiness with a Y. What? Oh, but why tell me happiness with an I E? See, happiness. <laughs> Yo, that's what I live for. Can, can we talk about Kelly? All right, all right. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about Kelly. So we're gonna go back to the Young Avenger. Can we get back on track? Go ahead, go back to the Young Avenger. So we're gonna talk about R. Kelly. So as you know, we had we had an episode a couple, you know, like two episodes ago where we talked about Robert and his shenanigans. And we talked about how we hope that this documentary and everything snowballed into him actually being held accountable for what he did. Right. He should have left um, the country. He probably should have left the country because 
they got his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Apparently, his lawyer said they got word from the DA's office that we got another tape. Damn. And another tape where you was doing well, you some mean, stuff that you weren't supposed to be doing. Not right? VHS. Hold on. DVD. This, yeah, this one was not... This was HD. 1080. You're talking about 1080. Yeah. yeah. And oh, so this is recent. Then. This is recent. It was oh. 48 minutes of child pornography. Man. Jesus uh, Christ. Goodness. So God damn it. Okay. They told his lawyer, we're reviewing the tapes, and then they're going to, I guess, mark up the charges. So, you know, they review the tapes and say 10 counts of this, whatever, whatever. They told him that on Thursday. Yeah. On, on Friday... They indicted his ass. He in the cook. They didn't even... And the lawyer was mad because the lawyer said they told us they would call us and, you know... Not broadcast. Arrange, yeah, they're yeah. not... But they didn't do that. Well, Literally... They didn't the they don't have to. They, they don't have to. to. Front steps. The, um, they said, bring your ass in, you are arrested. So, they're the police. They don't have to. So, Thursday, fr- Thursday they told the lawyer that. Friday he got indicted. He had to turn himself in. Um... He has like 10 counts of child pornography. Yeah, I read that. This yeah. time... Apparently there's video explicitly of him... Referring to the girl as uh, a fourteen-year-old, fourteen-year-old pussy. R. Ooh. Kelly, short eyes. So short eyes. I've seen that. I've seen that part. I've seen so that. Isn't, isn't R. Kelly an example of making the same mistake twice? No, 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 did bring some awareness. I think that sometimes those things come, and then, like you said, with the boycott, everybody bands behind in social media. Yeah, boycott Gucci, and then shit. Three weeks later, shit is over. What I will say is this documentary didn't that didn't happen. But could I ask? I mean, not to condone or justify anything. That's some weird let's, shit. let's first say wait. Absolutely prerequisite where you don't condone it. No, no, no. No condone. No pedophilia. No, we no. don't okay. Pay here. Okay, okay. We don't condone that. But. But what about when he was molested? So you know, a lot of times, you know, things okay, come that's about, a good question. That's a good stuff question. Like that, not to condone. No, that's anything, a good question. But he was sick. That's Just, a good I mean, question. Not to condone. So I got into this discussion. It's a sickness. I got into this Legit. discussion with yeah, someone. I'm not right? trying to condone. I got into this discussion with someone, and I'm glad you brought that up because with the person they said, you know, but what about him? And I said, I, uh, my exact words to her was. That is a reason for what he's doing, not an excuse for what he's doing. Understood. So, I yes, you. he was abused and molested and everything, mm-hmm. and that led him to maybe a, a life with behavioral But issues. he knew right from wrong. But at a certain point, we got to hold you accountable. Understood. And we're not going to say no 30, 40-year-old man does not know that fucking 14-year-old girls is disgusting. Like that, 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 we, can't, we can't say that, that you don't know at that point. That you're doing and something. Again, no, I don't, he, know, he I don't know if you peeped the. I don't know if we discussed it on the episode, but we uh when we discussed the Nick Cannon uh, interview that he did, mm-hmm. when he said he believes that R. Kelly's uh, communication skills uh, are low. Are low. So him talking to a fourteen year old girl is, not, it is, helped him is, no, is, you know, is it do make sense. It's no, 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 it's not right. Yeah. So, so if he's fact. educated on a certain level, that's a definite it, fact. Never but again, again, True. again, not so, trying to make it. Not, not, no, 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 not making no excuses. I'm just, I'm just bringing up in terms True. of because yeah. I think that's think, part of the sickness. Like he what, doesn't know how to talk true. to an older. What I will say is he's not. That's what they say about half the pedophilias and the sex offenders out there. But but they cannot. They they say that about. All the pedophilias and um, the sex offenders there, they can't engage in conversations with anyone older no, no, no. as they but I are. I think there's a difference. I think there's a difference between people because pedophilia... I'm, I think there's a difference between preying on young women and a person that doesn't know how to communicate with an older woman. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just... It's naturally okay for me to talk to a 14-year-old because that's... What I can That's do. where your mindset is I'm, at. It's different when a man knows how to talk to a well, woman the, and prays who on the, young Who woman. brought these young people to him? That's that. That's, 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 that's everybody that need to go to jail. That was a big. And every I feel this. Okay, if everybody it goes took, to jail, it, it took mm-hmm. twenty something years for him to be prosecuted. Right. So over this time, we all have heard about it. Throughout he got, the year. He got prosecuted because it's so that means the prosecutors before this prosecutor, the judges before this judges. So the lawyer said, "Well, everybody needs to be prosecuted Remember, who had involvement in this." He's the Messiah so, of Chicago. If that's that's the what case, it was at that time. Everybody knew this was going on, and let this ha- even these children's parents. Yes. Yeah. How did these? I, I mean, listen, you don't, I don't have kids. Right, right. Do you let your your kids out of your sight and to go? Oh, home? My mother ain't you play should. that. I don't think you should. You should. And I, again, I think I think it just comes to a situation where. 
again, like Prince said, the documentary definitely was like the nail in the coffin. I think everybody had their jokes and they their ideals. Like, okay, oh, okay. R. I Kelly's think- documentaries did not to cut you off, but what about MJ's documentary? Well, that's but MJ's that's documentary. So, so he's dead now. So we're gonna actually put that last nail in his coffin and say it's totally obsolete. He's what he was doing. But the in MJ kids came well, out. You said he was wrong. Uh, uh, to put the because last nail in his coffin because he's dead. Because you're trying to always, they're trying to always disrupt a black man's legacy. Robert Kelly, Robert Kelly's legacy was there. Um, MJ's legacy is there. They always trying to disrupt our legacies. You will never see Eminem legacy get disrupted. He actually came into the game and disrupted our black, uh, our African culture, our hip hop culture. And took it to and took it to a whole nother interstellar travel that none of us could perceive. You saying you saying he disrupted it when you say disrupted? He disrupted are you trying to give a, it a negative connotation? To not Eminem? giving a negative connotation towards Eminem. He is lyrical. There's no way around it. Uh, but but a black man can't uh, uh, a black man can't have that lyrical status to that what point. Do you, what do you mean? As um to so the standpoint I guess to of have the reception. That a white boy would have it the way that he did it. Cause as many as the records thing, being sold. Like Sean Carter? No. Like Sean Carter? Or Sean Carter didn't sell as many records as not. Or uh, Black as, Thought. As Eminem. But Sean Black Carter's Thought. more relevant than Eminem right now. Nobody, Eminem's not relevant. Well, Eminem's not relevant at this point. But you got to remember, he's still relevant in that stature of... If you if people still think about their top five, they still put Eminem there. Especially the young, the young culture that's before me. Okay. The, the twenty year olds. I'm just saying, not to get off subject, uh-huh. but you all they're always trying to throw our legacy somewhere. Cause R. Kelly had hits. He wrote for everyone. Had? Had hits. You're absolutely right. No, he, no, has. Like he an no, has hits. Has hits. Has hits yeah, and yeah. had hits. Yeah. Stuff like that. He has, he has hits. MJ did the same thing too. But it's like we're always trying to throw so wait, what's your what's your so what's your so what's your what's your general statement right now? Just so I know we can make a. I'm not saying I condone the whole pedophilia, the fourteen year old thing that's going on with Kelly. But, I just like we can't hold as our community. We can't hold on to nothing. We can't have an idol. So you're saying in terms of like somebody being tainted in a in a. It's always tainted. Bill okay. Cosby was a he was okay. a Uncle Phil. Uh, I'm wait, glad wait, wait. he passed away. I think, I think if he did, well, Uncle day. Phil do. Uncle Phil, I'm just saying they would have found something on Uncle Phil. But That's again, not, I think that goes back to it, we kind of had a, like, we had an episode about that earlier. Okay. I think that goes into can you separate a person like of what they've accomplished in their career from I know I mean they, their, their personal crime, life. What yeah. they do? So like Bill Cosby, you, like the Cosby Show is a great show. You're not about to tell me different world, top like, five top, show top, top, of all time. Bill Cosby, you know. Yeah, oh. So not, like Uncle Phil, make less of R. Kelly, like you said, he has hits. I'm not gonna say yo R. Kelly don't say, have yeah. hits because he molested young girls. I'm not gonna say Michael Jackson's not the greatest. But you want the, of all time you want them to be held accountable for what they was doing on their personal. Life. Yeah. No, I mean, everybody needs to. Everyone everybody should. should. Everyone I mean, that's, that's, that's everyone. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. Everyone should. Right. You're right. We all got personal life. Yes. Right. All of us at this table, mm-hmm. we here at this table now, but we all got personal life. And right. I think everybody in life has a personal life. And mm-hmm. I, I always thought about this. Like, if you're a politician or this or that, if getting some pussy or whatever you're doing have something to do with how you perform your job. Sometimes you get the right, you perform your job better. You're right. You're, <laughs> you know right. you're very right. I mean, with that. the exception of fucking with kids or hurting or harming people. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, then again, eh, that's kind of relative. That's, you know what I so, mean? So this is a lot. This is so nice. What was your... So bring it up, R. Kelly. What was it? Let's, let's bring it to a... Let's bring it to let's a... Bring it, bring it, bring it, to what what the topic is going to be about here? So, I just what's the What's the... I just wanted I really really when we talked about the statement I wanted to know two things are we are we happy that he is one being indicted again and do we think mm-hmm. do we think he's going to be rightfully held accountable this he's going to jail right. he's going, going to jail, jail. <laughs> there's no way around it he's going, going to jail, jail. Yeah. they what, locked what, up Cosby he come on he did. <laughs> so, so he did that apparently the leaks of like the documents and stuff say that it's like 48 minutes of this stuff he, he refers to her her private parts as 14 year old whatever he's saying mm. uh, and apparently there is a second tape that is supposed to going to be coming second tape hold on, hold on, on. yes hold on oh, the, the, the person off. who said the first one is apparently about to sit at the one it's like oh. they're trying to bury him this now time. hold on not to cut you off but in this situation I never seen the tape 
I never Meaning, seen it. I, 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 I don't, don't want to see tape. Look at it. I, I don't want to see tape. Mm-hmm. But this is the situation that I'm saying mm-hmm. is that you're having consensual sex with a 14 year old girl. Now he, he's having consensual sex. Exactly. A 14 year old cannot consent. Robert. To sex. Robert. Yeah. No. That's a fact. They Hold can't. On. They can't. That's a fact. Hold on. Now you understand the fact. The state of Utah. Now certain states yeah, well, well, with, they, with the parents' consent. No, both of the states. Yeah, certain the states. Yeah, yeah. Certain Which states. Is crazy to me. Well, right? exactly. No, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. States, oh, no, certain states you have Romeo and Juliet law. Over, oh, I Romeo and Juliet law. Like a fifteen-year-old like, can like, actually I have sex. I see what you're saying. Romeo and Juliet law in Texas. You can have sex at the age of fifteen with an eighteen-year-old, as long as you're in that same school. But that's different. That, but this is what I'm saying. Really ain't 18. But I understand. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not condoning consensual sex with okay. a 14 year old. Okay, okay, okay. But if the tape was being made, who left the 14 year old with Robbie Kelly? Second of all, that's your child. It. I, I'm not understanding this. Everybody like, why it happened? This so is the question. The question asked was, do you think? Do you think? Are, first of all, are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you happy? Or are you? Uh, how do you feel? How you feel about, you, 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 you you about him being indicted? I'm I'm screwed up in my mind because there's another brother going to jail again. In okay. that prestigious standpoint, now you got to remember he still he he's. I don't understand how he didn't come up with bail because that's bugged me out because they said his it's iTunes bro. skyrocketed up. <laughs> he started selling more songs and shit because Step in the name of love Clap in the name yeah. Yeah. They should start selling no, again, right? We're not so, stepping in the name of love. So I said, so I said wait a minute, what do you mean you ain't got no bail money? But it's like, I'm not understanding. So if a 14-year-old is taking it down like a grown woman, there's a fucking issue going on in this world that we live in today. Yo, man, I'm not understanding. Yo, man, change the subject. 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 Okay. How do you feel about him being indicted? I might have to edit that part out. I think... That's some weird shit. I don't even listen to it. I don't even listen to it. That's I think bitch. it's a good thing, bro. No, get okay. that part off. Yeah, show. <laughs> it's uh, shedding light to something that's super inappropriate. Okay, we change the subject. Man. I think. Um, yeah, we that's that's it. I think. Shit. I think. I mean, I think. I think. Generally speaking, everybody should be excited. Well, not excited, but it's 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 a good thing yeah. that he's being indicted. I think we've all came to that consensus. That right. I, I don't think to, I'm holding. I don't, I'm not praising a brother. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not praising. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not, think praising. I'm not like excited. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to sound like. No, no, no. But I'm again, happy. I think there's. I think again, like we spoke about before, there's a there's a right and there's a wrong. Right. And he, he's, he's wrong. Has, he he's has wrong. to. He has to have consequences for the actions that. So he's what about done. everybody else? Boy, ACS he's wrong. cases. So you go to ACS. I mean, motherfuckers get raped. I no, no, all this, day long. But this goes to what I said before that the the documentary secured the bag. So okay, that's fine. That's cool. And uh, not to disagree with what you're saying. Okay. Uh-huh. We but understand that. What about that? all the motherfuckers so, out here in the world? Let me answer that. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I think that we may be on a witch hunt for R. Kelly, but something that we know is prominent <laughs> in our community probably for the last 30 years. Molestation. Know, call it what it is. Molestation. I, I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm just saying, mm-hmm. I, 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 I turned 30 this year. I can only speak for as long as I've been around, but I've always known girls that said... Uncles and all these people have inappropriately touched them or said yeah. stuff to them. Fuck so them. I think that they, I know that this has been a problem. Don't say it's just girls; it's boys, boys too. too. Exactly. exactly. But okay. what I'm saying is, I, I I can't speak for boys because ain't no nigga gonna tell me that. Ain't no nigga gonna tell me, yo, my uncle used it. No, nobody gonna say that. But um, it's there. Well, they, boys, when, it's when there. it happens to boys, they actually um, praise it. What you mean? Like when it's like an older woman. Oh, no. All right, so I'm saying, wait, real quick. That's a double standard. Cuzzle, cuzzle, I got you. Yeah, it's it's a double standard. So it's usually when it's like, you know, a teenage boy, and it's like their babysitter that's like over the age, you know, they praise it. Right, so I think this has been a thing. It's a double edged sword. I'm not saying that those people shouldn't also be held accountable. I hope we get to a level where everyone who is. Taking advantage of people who are not in their right mind to make those sound decisions are held accountable. It's not but we got to start somewhere. You know, it's it's, not, you're right. It's not going to happen. happen. You know what? Cause all it always starts happen, with the brothers. But they don't care about black and brown kids. No, no. But this stuff been happening since time and memorial. It starts with the and brothers all, all the time. And now is that with technology, people just going to get better at it. Yep. You know, you pay attention every time you turn around. This person got caught with uh, child porn or this or that. Motherfuckers still gonna do it. So, so let me so let me ask general. let me ask everybody here. Wine is a prime another example. question. 
I'm gonna go around. Are you? Is R. Kelly just answer the question? Is R. Kelly canceled in your book? Avengers cousin? Is he canceled? We will you will you continue to listen? Cancel him. Is listen? Oh, listen to oh no, 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 no. Is he canceled? Yes or no? You already know how I feel about this. That's, I mean, yeah, we you already this. know how I feel That's about a fact. this. Yo, yo, uh, I'm gonna still listen to him. Yo, Thor, I don't give a fuck. Yo, Black Thor. That's one of the greatest R and B singers of all time. Okay. Not one of. The greatest R right, cool. and B singer of all time. Wait, wait, wait. Am, like I, like am I gonna go to <laughs> uh, R? I mean, he's probably gonna be locked up. He's gonna, but he's gonna am be. I gonna be like, yo, I am the biggest R Kelly? For, no. Am I gonna be parading it? No. But, but I, on your iPad, you gonna listen to it? Oh no, no, no. I will actually select songs. Fact. Okay. Okay. I'm cool. I'm Step cool. in the name of love is one of the greatest songs of all time. Is it, yo? And I fuck with hard body. Is it not? This and, and if you're on a cruise, and I don't know why it's always like on a cruise or a is resort or at a wedding, video, at a boat. barbecue, but I'm going to step in the name of love. But on a boat, that's why. I'm not going to advocate for any of any, anything he does in his personal life. Oh, you're going to no. say, oh, you're going to say, you remind me of my Jeep. I want to ride you. Oh, something is, this like is this. American Idol. <laughs> Yo, Black Thor. <laughs> my no. cousin is in Black his bag. Is R. Kelly I'm canceled? Yes or no? R. Kelly's not canceled. He's just going to do his time. Right. Is R. Kelly canceled? Yes or no? Um, no. I'm going to listen to R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Prince, R. Kelly's canceled, yes or no? You, well, you know my stance on this. We talked about this before. I don't, and then, but we had a discussion. We, right. I, I don't, and, then, and then the song came on, and you, 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 listen, you, you almost Prince Light Skin, no, 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 no. Prince Light Skin, though. Like, they love to they love, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> they know that shit. Light Skin, I don't actively go listen to R. Kelly songs. Like, I'm, I don't like... Not really, that's the, that's I, listen, right? I'm going to finish it. Okay. I don't actively go listen to R. Kelly songs. Dance. Now, there are songs that he has uh, uh, done the chorus for, or like been a feature All on, the video. that are my... Dancing. <laughs> Dancing. Yeah, that, was, that was good. That, that was, was a good one. one. <laughs> All right. There are songs that he was featured on that are my shit. Uh-huh. And honestly, I've been skipping them recently, and it's been hard. I can't say that when Best of Both Worlds come on or something. I'm not like, I want to play this thing. So you're skipping them as they still on, on, your, they still Yo, on your device. What do you do when yes. Fiesta comes on? So why don't you take them uh, off your device? When it comes on, why don't you His songs it? are gone. Fiesta. But like I said, I didn't go, I didn't like type R. Kelly in my, in my name no, I'm saying, and but delete everything. If Best of Both Worlds plays, why is it not deleted? It's a good song. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. honest. It's a good song. It is All a right. record. Though. Okay, I ain't right. streaming this shit, though. I might go offline mode. <laughs> I'm dead. Damn. I'm dead. That's yeah, I don't even up. get the stream sale. Yo. I might illegally download it. Fuck it. If I illegally download it, then he ain't get no profit off of it. Fuck right. it. Okay. What's you can still legally download? What's yes. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. The internet's alive. Yeah. Yo, what's the next topic? Yo, what's the next topic? topic? We gonna keep it in Chicago. Mm. These two men got arrested in the same week. <laughs> <laughs> the same they took oh, their mugshot in the same exact location. Oh man. Jesse Smollett. Jesse. Don't don't don't, don't forget Jesse. the you. Jesse. It's, it's not Jesse because Jesse. Jesse's a regular name. Oh, yeah. Jesse. His name is Jesse. No, his Jesse. name is Lion. Oh, and my bad. It's who told you, Jesse Lion. Lion King. Jesse <laughs> with a J. <laughs> Wordplay Lay. You. Wordplay Lay. So Je- Jesse, Jesse, Jesse Smollett uh-huh. was now arrested because after he That's claimed he got shit beat up yeah. and beat up with some dudes with MAGA hats and everything, they went into investigation. The and question was why? Why? Mm. So we, we talked about we talked theories. about we talked about this in the shop. Mm-hmm. So I want everybody to say their part about what we think he was doing outside at two a.m. in the dirty below somewhere. weather. I just, I just want everybody. Know, I just want. I just. I want to pre. Wait, wait, wait. wait pre- before y'all start, I want to preset this answer. Bob. Before y'all start, we said it. Preset it. If anybody was offended in this in this part, I'm offended because this is the worst Black History Month. We had in years. We going, but that's gonna be the name. All of I know this is this doesn't make any sense anymore. I'm putting, I'm betting the bank right now that Rock is gonna have the best answer. To yes, this <laughs> and, and and I want to say, I just, I no animals, that. gay people or women were hurt. Were hurt in this, in, in this part. <laughs> so, oh. so, so hold on, let's start on this let's side. Let's let's start, wait, no, let's start with me. Let's start with me, so we can go. So Rock start with the, start with Prince. Let's Rock and end it. We gonna start with me. I got it. So wait, wait. So what's the what's the question one more? So I just want you to say how you feel about. Okay. So he came out two weeks ago saying these things about how he was attacked because he was gay and black, mm-hmm. and then now we come out and see that it was probably a lie. And what? he had a noose around his neck. And a noose around his then neck. Then Burberry comes out with the same hoodie. Yeah, right. It's fucking crazy. It's a collab. I didn't even... <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't make any sense anymore. They collab. It was a collab. If you don't realize they bashing black folks... All right, all right, all right. All right, okay. All right, all right so all right. here we go. So, all right, so here we go. Boom, that happened. 
He got arrested. They are now thinking he plotted it and lied about it. And it's a false police report. Mm. So my thing is, uh, to use a plight that we go through every day. Like as a, I have to navigate this world as an average black man every day. We all in this room have to navigate this world as black minority men every day. Okay, I got to watch how loud I flick my voice mm-hmm. and everything because yep. it may come off as, yo, know, a white man could come in the room like, why isn't this shit done? And it's like, oh, shit, get it done, man. Yep. If I come in the room like, why isn't this shit done? They're like, oh, shit. Angry is black he, man. Is he going to yeah. hit me? Yeah. It's like, bitch, no, I'm not going to hit you. I just want to, why isn't this done? I'm you just speaking at the top of my voice. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I just think that to use something that we are faced with every day, being mm-hmm. black men, to use something that regular gay people, not that he's not regular, but he's rich. So I want to put that outside of it. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't be gay and black at the same time. He is gay and black. Why 